Hello, hi, I just wanted to come in really quickly and share with you um, a couple of things that I'm gonna be using in this new year. Um, this pink Filofax and um, this lovely handmade pouch. Both of these pouches are handmade, both are gifts um, from a dear friend. And this one has cute little vintage looking teacups. I love this really nice, warm, kind of deep green. It's kind of turquoise green on the sides. Um, per fits perfectly my Filofax and some other little odds and ends, bits and bobs. Um, and this is my pink Filofax I shared in my last um, video. And this is what I'm going to be using for the year to carry around with me. I do have a larger planner that's just me. Um, it does not, the snap closure does not close. She is too um, curvy. <laughs> I'm gonna say it nicely. She's very curvy, just like me. And so she does not want to button her pants. So <laughs> she likes the room for growth and we are gonna be growing this year. So if you don't like that, um, I think this is petal pink in um, the Filofax pocket pattern. Um, then definitely clean yours out and make it slim. But you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know good and well that chunky is better for me. That's just the way it goes and works for me. I found that I like that. Um, I have these glitter cards. These are my girls that I've um, done art with and I will be putting these girls up in the shop. Um, on the side, I have two sticky notes, little sticky note tabs. Um, they will come in a pack. Uh, these journal cards will come. They're glitter and there's going to be some, like, I think vintage gold color. Um, but just a few little bits. I like to share little bits of my art. It inspires me. <laughs> uh, this is all the girls in this, in this card set will be on this lovely handmade, beautiful, soft pouch um, cloth. So this cloth is custom made. It's gonna have a little um, pretty little button and as soon as you open the flap there's more of the girls all the collection is on the cloth how cool is that I love that um, so I wanted to test it out and I wanted to be sure that two sets fit in this so if you order the glitter and the gold um, the vintage gold set that's kind of the vintage gold set it's got a nice kind of vintage look to it. I think it's vintage white gold, if I'm correct. Um, and these are perfect size to go in your pocket. These are the glitter ones. Um, and we'll be doing a few of these, not too much so as I don't get overwhelmed, um, but just enough to share the goodness with others. And also, uh, we had a little gathering, and in that little gathering, my friend made these and had them printed up with beautiful scriptures, kind of fun, fun cards. All of these together, uh, these two sets together fit nicely. So I wanted to make it roomy enough so that if you wanted to purchase two sets, of course, each set comes with its own pouch, but say you just wanted to fill your own cards in here, I wanted to be able to fill it up and it does, it fills up nicely. We also had some scrap material left, and so that's what's gonna be on the inside. I don't know if you can really see that. So pretty, this script with like watercolor florals in there, just a beautiful mix of materials. So what I've done, um, so you can hand them out to friends, encourage others, or use it for yourself. Um, I paper clipped this girl at the front. I love her star headband. I, I wish I could wear something like that. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be working on doing mind mapping. I want to talk about that a little more in the future, but mind mapping um, I found in the past has been very helpful for me to get a hold of my thoughts. Um, I don't have anything down yet, but I do have um, a chunk of paper, just paper. Uh, it comes with graph paper, notebook paper, um, plain paper. You can definitely order more. Uh, for this purpose of just kind of dumping or putting thoughts and ideas in here. Um, th thus far, that's what I'm thinking. So I haven't really put a lot in here other than set it up. So this is kind of my setup. Here's another glittery card. 
Um, I do have this pen that I'm really loving. I got it at Daiso, I think. Um, it's the Cine, it's Cinemoro. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's so cute. Look at that little bunny with its little crown and it's got cake. I don't know if it's focusing. It's got cake and pastries. I don't know what my deal is with <laughs> pastries. I love pastries. Um, if you've seen some of my past videos, you see that these are my favorite little things on my desk. These little fairy cakes, so cute. Um, and I just like to keep it whimsical and creative. So it's not just essentials to do, but there's some creativity included in, in most of my, my journals. Um, it really just helps me gravitate back toward this. Um, and here I'm gonna have some notes. I love this. It says I run on coffee and magic, just so fun. I cut it off of another larger card and just clipped it in there. I love the holographic picture of my sisters and I. Um, here's some Bible notes. So this is where I'm going to have some Bible notes, sermon notes, things that I hear when I hear them, thoughts, quotes, something someone says. I want to kind of have a place to collect all of that, like little caches of gems of truth, um, things that are helpful. And that helps me. So I don't believe in a planner just being, an, a, a, you know, like essentials, just what I've got to do, what, where I have to go. For me, if I can cram in as much inspiration and life, you know, because it's kind of like your life in paper, on paper. Um, if I can collect all of that into a small place. And I just absolutely adore pocket size. I'm forever a pocket girl. I just love the pocket size. Um, it's just so cute. And I just find that it's small enough to carry around with me. And I just love that. Um, here's another one of my girls just sprinkled throughout like confetti or sprinkles throughout my planner. And here's my calendar. So what I did was I took one of the journal cards, um, punched holes in it. Nothing here is perfect. Everything is perfectly imperfect. I say this all the time. And I just got one of my leftover um, inside of this little, pretty little china. I have a lot of, um, I found this in a thrift store. I love how delicate it is. But I have some of my sticker flakes and I have some of my own um, little labels. So I have, I included some of these in some of my orders and I use them throughout my planner. It just pairs really well with the colors. Um, put calendar and that's where this chunk is here, which will get filled up soon. And it's really great for just quickly jotting a quick, a date, appointment, whatever. Um, two pockets in the back with stickers and ephemera, more stickers and ephemera in the back. Um, I took this one out of another pocket planner and put it in here, sticky notes. But I think I got those from Walmart. Um, and then here is this Filofax notepad that you could just collect notes and write things down and thoughts in. Um, but that's what's going on in here. And that's what I'm gonna be using to kind of get myself together for this 2023. Um, I also have some, just some little notes. These were handmade, wonderful little adorable treats. Um, just a little notebook that I'm writing some songs that I love in. And so cute, tiny little sticky notes. Handmade paper cover everything. This came together as a gift for Christmas and I just love it so much. I love special handmade things, things that are just precious to you. Um, and I love this. This was specially made for me for Christmas. Look at the button. These, this, I don't know what I think. I love, I love odd things like chairs. Um, I love scrapbook paper with chairs. One of my favorite pads from Hobby Lobby, we had chairs. Um, but I just love this just special button and there's like a beautiful like floral next to it. Um, I love this rose pink corduroy, um, material. And this was specially made with, um, kind of my friend had me in mind <laughs> um, but these they look like little bubbles um pretty colorful bubbles it is stretchy material she included all these beautiful pens i love different colored pens i also like that these are these are optimus i love this brand i love this lavender fine tip i just love fine tip pens these also work really well so i like fine tip pens for my file effects it's just suitable so in here this is going to be for the new year what i'm doing with my the tuesday night group with women i did go back and forth what i was going to do um but i got this from five below and it is a prayer my prayer journey book um so i really want to enhance 
And I, I, I feel or I believe or the way my mind works is that I've prayed. I always have prayed all of my life. I was taught to pray. I grew up in a home where prayer was essential. But I really believe I'm in a season and there are seasons and times in your life where prayer becomes, it's kind of like a home. It's essential. And then there's times and seasons where you just want to decorate it. <laughs> So I want to be in a season of decorating my life with prayer, um, becoming, making it a beautiful part of my life. And it, it always has been, or it has been lately within the last 10 years, but um, I feel like that's a, something I can definitely thrive in. I did find this Rifle Co. paper from, um, wrapping paper from Anthropology, and I wanted to wrap it. It was just so pretty. It's too pretty to wrap, <laughs> just wrap gifts. I mean, it may be a special gift. But I'm, I wrapped my prayer journal with it, and it's not perfectly done. Again, perfectly imperfect. That's that's key because it gives. There's a lot of grace in this, you know. For me, wrote my name on it. Um, started off with a few little sketches in here. So I loved. I'm I'm kind of a little particular with what I choose, um, as far as books is concerned. Um, I loved the quotes. First of all, Timothy Keller, one of my favorites. I loved the art, the watercolor art, the simplicity of it. Um, I loved that it asked for some, kind of gives you a little bit of insights to think about. Um, I don't know why I liked that it lays, the layout is I'm worried about. I don't know why I like that because sometimes I think we don't want to talk about what we're worried about. We just want to focus on the good and that's wonderful, but there are things in our heart that are heavy and I think we need to face them so that we can focus on the good. Um, I love the playlist. It comes with a playlist. So some of these songs I'm going to check out, some I've already heard, um, but I just love all the watercolor entries and I'm looking forward to using it. I bought my friend some for Christmas because it's just so special and I really found it to be great. Um, so we're going to be going through that together. Also the inside has got these beautiful, oops sorry, like mosaic, pastel mosaic material. Um, and this is kind of stretchy so it fits nicely. I might include another book in here but basically that's what I am going to be using for 2023. Um, and that's what's going to kind of help me get my little heart in order. Also, lastly, before I leave, included in that little set of cards, we took one of the girls and made, had this material made for it as well. Um, lovely little bookmark, two-sided. I just love it so much. This is in my Bible, but I, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my prayer journal. This was in my Bible. I'm putting my prayer journal. Anyhow, I hope that um, inspires you or encourages you or maybe gives you a few ideas of what you might want to do, or maybe you've been putting your planners to the side this past year, a couple of years, and you want to get back into it, this is perfect for that. Um, just get back into it with prayer and a little bit of creative organizing, and if that's your jam, then you're going to love it. Many blessings and hope to come in and talk with you all soon. Bye-bye.